What's next? The American Psychological Association spoke to more than 100 leading psychologists to reveal the top challenges facing the field and how psychologists are tackling those problems. Fighting misinformation is messier than ever. This presidential election year, the threat of misinformation has only become more insidious. With millions in new federal funding, psychologists are studying its spread and widely sharing the science-backed methods to best combat it. Psychologists are humanizing AI. Artificial intelligence is already part of psychology, changing work in the lab, clinic, and classroom. Psychologists are now leading efforts to use behavioral insights to shape the latest AI technology. Higher education is struggling. Many of the dramatic changes in society, including a widespread mental health crisis, are fueling faculty burnout, high turnover, and fear among educators. A recent survey showed 64% of faculty said they felt burned out. Backlash against racial equity is growing. Institutions are cutting equity, diversity, and inclusion funds and positions. In addition, state and federal legislation, such as the Supreme Court's decision against race-based affirmative action, has created a number of roadblocks for those seeking racial equity. Psychologists are continuing to do their work to create a more just society despite these setbacks. Psychologists are reaching more patients. There is a mental health crisis in the U.S., but for those who seek care, 80% say it's too expensive and more than half say they are ashamed to get help. In addition, 60% of psychologists say they have no openings for new patients. Some psychologists are advocating for insurance coverage, for digital therapeutics, and other new approaches to existing therapies to serve more patients. Monetizing mental health is harder than it looks. A slew of high-profile layoffs and ethical breaches are spurring better clinical and business practices among mental health tech companies. Psychologists are optimistic about this second wave, where investors are focused on funding products developed by mental health care experts. Boosting worker well-being is a huge priority. People want meaning and stability in their work. However, in a recent survey, 38% say they worry AI might replace them. And APA's Work in America survey found only 40% of workers say their time off is respected. Psychologists are studying what benefits employees most and how to best cultivate healthy workplaces. Psychologists are innovating to tackle substance use. The most recent data on drug overdose deaths shows an estimated 54% jump over the previous year. Roughly two-thirds of these deaths involve illicitly manufactured fentanyl. Psychologists are developing new interventions to help people recover from addictions. More school psychologists are coming. There's just one psychologist for every 1,127 students across the U.S. The rise in school stressors and this shortage of mental health help has led to increased federal funding and a major push to train and hire more school psychologists. Policymakers are taking aim at women and LGBTQ individuals. Restrictions on abortion and gender-affirming care have severely altered the right to make decisions for marginalized communities. Many of these new policies purportedly aim to protect individuals' mental and physical health, but have the opposite impact, according to decades of research. Psychologists are countering these efforts by engaging in advocacy and legislation and supporting patients in speaking out. Therapy rooms are constantly evolving. SIPAC has now 40 member states, making telehealth an expected method of therapy. And while AI is still not commonly used in direct patient care, AI-backed tools are reducing the time therapists must spend on administrative tasks. Psychology is improving brain health and aging. APA estimates by 2030, the U.S. will need nearly 6,000 more specialists in treating older adults. Researchers are developing interventions that can help preserve brain health and treat mild cognitive impairment, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. 